Well, good morning, Team Rabbit. We're headed for Chester this morning. Still got a little under 15 miles to go. We gotta be looking northward and uh, making sure there isn't anything bad out there. I just see a white mountain. Um, hmm. Any rate, that's over toward Lassen. Uh, we get to Chester today. We're gonna zero there tomorrow, get some rest, go through the equipment, heal up a little, and then we're headed that way. Well, there may be some doubt as to the correctness exactly of that location marker, but we have just officially stepped across the PCT midpoint. That's 1,325 miles. Now, of course, for me, it's really not quite right because I have some of that to go back and do about well, almost 500 miles of it. But you know what? I'm up here gonna knock out around 830 or so. We'll be finishing today. And uh, in the next few days, I will have knocked out a third of the trail. So I'm pretty pleased. Um, just gotta keep going some more. Meanwhile, I got about eight miles to go to get to the highway and hitch a ride into Chester today. Okay, well, I'm headed down to uh, Chester to, uh, well, to zero tomorrow. But my foot's been sore today, swollen. I don't know if you can see my ankle's pretty swollen. So I stopped here at this stream and uh, I've been putting it in and out of that water, in and out because it's so doggone cold that. I can hardly feel my foot when I take it out, but hopefully that's going to help me make it the few more miles I need to get down to the down to the highway. It's only 3.3 miles, so that's going to be an eh, hour and change, hour and 20 minutes maybe. But uh, been an okay trip today. I mean, the tread was nice, and it's been a lot of downhill comparatively. Um, um i'm still fighting pain i do that every day i keep thinking there will come a day when all that will go away i will say in all fairness it's getting better you know my my knees aren't bothering me much my back isn't bothering me much both of my wrists are still swollen from uh, using my hiking poles while i was post holing and sliding in snow um as you can see, I got a swollen left ankle, which is, I think, due to tendonitis. I'm still fighting blisters here and there. I, every time I think I've got that problem solved, well, guess what? Get another one. At any rate, um, guys, what I want you to do is just chill out, relax. We'll go down here. Everybody get a good meal, something high in fat and carbs and, and maybe a beer. You've all earned it. Just uh, relax, take tomorrow off, hit the tub, the hot tub, or hit the swimming pool or something. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chill. But man, I'm stoked, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm feeling pretty good. I, if This day off should help me a lot, and if I can get rocking and rolling after that, I got Lassen, and then after that, Bernie Falls, and then it's time to flip back to Kennedy Meadows. So, a uh, lot coming up. Oh, yeah, that's it. Seventy-one last year. Okay. And this year, crazy seventy-one part two. Okay. And last year, I terminated at Donner Pass from Temple. Uh huh. Uh, this year, I want to finish the second half up to Canada, mm -hmm. Canning Park. So last year, I spent four and a half months. This year, I think I spent also four and a half months to do the second part. 
When did you start this uh, year? I start at more or less similar to last year. Last year I start at uh, 11, uh, 11 of uh, May. And this year I start at 15 of May. So just two days difference. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it's good to meet you. Are you going to stop in Chester or are you going on? Uh, I'm going to have my visa supply at Chester and then I carry on to Okay. The uh, because uh, I, ate, uh, I walk slowly, so I have to carry more food. So <laughs> my backpack is heavier than others. Yeah. Well, let's go. Okay, good morning, Rabbit family there, Rabbit team. Uh, this is the uh, first morning out of Chester. I'm hiking with um, my good friend, Steph, right now, trail named Wendy of Wendy and the Lost Boys. We're looking at Mount Lassen, which we could see from quite a few miles back a few days ago, but guess what? You see it a lot better after a few days of hiking. We're gonna do 19 miles down here today to the Drake's Bag Guest Ranch. Uh, camp next to a hot spring and uh, since I couldn't bring my hot tub, we'll probably take advantage of that while we're there. Uh, the next day we have to hike all the way across Lassen Park because we don't have bear, bear canisters with us and they're required in the park. So we'll just uh, plan our trip accordingly. This morning uh, there were quite a few showers in the area. Fortunately, they're clearing out now. By late afternoon today or tomorrow, we should start seeing some sunshine, but the, the temperatures are very pleasant right now anyway, um, and making this a very enjoyable hike. So we're going to keep on going, head down the road a bit, have lunch in an hour or two maybe, and a uh, little rabbit food, and, and move on. Uh, well, well, well. What a fine bridge somebody's made right there. First, you got to get to it, then you got to get over it, and if you screw up, you now, but hey, what could go wrong? The rabbit repels water. Let's see what happens. Well, I got an idea, everybody. How about we have a little picnic down here? It's, um... Uh, Right at noon, we've done about nine and a half miles. Got this gorgeous, this is the North Fork uh, of the Feather River. How much prettier could you ask for than that? So we'll sit down here. We'll actually eat lunch today and uh, just chill out some. Don't even have mosquitoes. Well, so this is the uh, geyser at Lassen. Uh, brought to you by Rabbit Rabbit and Wendy of the Lost Boys who have hiked down uh, an extra 0.3 miles to share the moment with just the two of us and about a thousand of you guys out there. So welcome. I hope you guys enjoy this. It's, um, it's not a real geyser. It's just kind of a steam pit, but it's the best we got down here and there are two places. The next one we're going to is a boiling mud pit, but it's on the way, so what the hell? We can be tourists. All right, enjoy the views, and we'll get back on the trail here in a few minutes. This, uh, I'm feeling a little old today. I think we, we may change the name of this officially to the Geezer Geyser, but we gotta get the park officials to go along with that. Hi. This is the boiling mud pit, which is um, effectively mud that is boiling. Okay, rabbit team, if you look right out there in the distance, you can see a really big brown bear standing there. He's looking at us, kinda. We're gonna be leaving here in just a moment, but he doesn't seem to be too interested in us, 
Just making sure we're not coming that way. Well, right over there is where the stream comes across. And as you can see, there is no crossing until you get way down there. You can see the log that we had to cross. It's actually two logs, one laid on the other. Okay, just a little better view of Mount Lassen here in a very small section of uh, Windy here. But um, I'm sure as we move on, the views are just gonna get better and better and better. What a perfect day to be out here. Wish you guys were, were all right here together and could look at it. I know you can see it there. So we'll save the best views for later. Well, good morning, Team Rabbit. It's Memorial Day. Just got off a big day yesterday. You can see the sun's already up and shining good, and all that means is that we've decided to sleep in today, and we've earned it, because yesterday, a brand new record. In fact, two big things. One was our longest day ever at 26.5 miles. Those are trail miles. In addition to those, there were another mile and a half walking to and from the trail yesterday. Uh, my hiking partner right now, Wendy, is a little bit lame with plantar fasciitis, and uh, so she had to uh, abandon the trail a little early yesterday. She's got some medicine. Hopefully, she'll be ready to go. Um, the other big milestone yesterday, you guys get the champagne ready and everything. Team Rabbit officially completed one-third of the PCT yesterday in terms of total miles. So, here we are at uh, Old Station, which uh, literally has a gas station right here that we've been allowed to camp behind. The guy that runs this place is fantastic. Uh, so I hiked in last night, he met me out here, took my burger order, cooked it right over there behind the gas station on a grill brought me a fantastic burger. I was starved to death and tired, and he brought me that. All right, and your family of... Four. We're Mark. Well, Thank you. Mark and Renee. From South and Mark Lake Tahoe. And so what are you guys doing up here in Lassen this weekend? We're camping. Hiking, camping. Just meeting each other. Are you guys uh, thinking about doing the trail down the road? Oh, no. No, no? <laughs> okay. Sections of it. Sections of it. I've cool. I've done a lot down south. Cool. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. So good to meet you folks, right. and um, thanks for watching. Yeah. Okay, team. This is our first view of what I believe is Mount Shasta in the distance. Not too sure how far away that is, but what I do know is it's going to be closer in a few days. It's um, about 10 minutes to 10 in the morning. We got off to a very late start today because big day yesterday. Slept in. Had breakfast at uh, JJ's Cafe by Old Station. Um, a really good breakfast this morning. Uh, so, just a late start, but a well-earned rest that I hope you guys enjoyed. You earned it too. So, uh, we're going to plot along today. Uh, my two hiking companions, uh, Wendy and uh, Lady Bruce, uh, took a little shorter route onto the trail this morning, so they're ahead of me somewhere. Maybe I catch them today. Yeah, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, they're not going too far, I don't think, and unfortunately, Wendy's foot is still causing her a lot of trouble. So we'll just go along today, hike, relax. No big rush because uh, we got plenty of time to get to uh, Bernie, which is our next destination and without doing too big of miles. Uh, you guys hop up here, enjoy the view, and uh, let's get on. Okay guys, taking our first break, not so much farther along than where we were talking a few moments ago. 
I've now caught up to uh, Wendy and Lady Bruce, and they've carried on while I've sat down here to take my break. I'm uncovering my feet and trying to give them regular breaks, which they need. At any rate, uh, about 5.9 miles down is the next water source. It involves then a climb down a hill, back up a quarter of a mile each way. So that ain't gonna be a lot of fun, but I'm probably gonna need to get water there. Uh, weather today is beautiful. It's absolutely perfect. There's a light breeze about three to five miles an hour. Cloudless sky. I'm looking and you can't see Mount Lassen in the back or whatever mountain that is with the snow all over it in the middle of Lassen National Park. Um, and uh, we shasta down the road. We should get some good shots of that pretty soon. So you guys hang on and been a lot of reports from hikers I've run into seeing bears all along the way. So maybe we'll get lucky and see some more bears. Hey, uh, my name's Adam. I'm just uh doing a week's hiking on the PCT, uh, having a lot of fun, getting my legs used to the miles, I guess. Are you planning a through hike of the PCT, Adam? Well, I, maybe at the end of this week, I'll want to do a through hike. Okay, cool. Uh, it's tempting, yeah. Anyway, thanks, Adam, and uh, thanks for watching the Rabbit Rabbit videos. Yeah, they're great. There we are, team. There's Mount Lassen, where we came through the last couple days. Now we're looking at it in the distance behind us and way around here, there's Mount Shasta. That's a contrast. We will walk between those two in just a few days. So pretty cool. Grab onto the backpack and hang on because I'm going to be moving pretty quick. Don't get bounced out. Hey guys, lunchtime here. Well, actually, a little later than lunch for a lot of people. It's uh, 2.12 in the afternoon. Um, I marched on ahead of uh, Wendy and Lady Bruce. Wendy's still struggling with her foot. And uh, the area we came through is a lot of volcanic rocks scattered about, so it's a real hard hike. So it's gonna be a tough job for her to get here. I hiked on ahead um, about uh, oh, five and a half miles or so from where we split up. There's a water source, which is where I'm at. Now, most water sources that they mark are on the PCT. Some of them are off trail a bit. I've, I've discussed that before. This particular one's, they say a quarter of a mile off trail, but it's a quarter of a mile and 400 feet of elevation difference. So, it's way downhill. Um, got the view of Shasta, which is always fun looking forward and being able to see kind of what the future should look like if all things go well. So I had a good time here. Um, took some time here and took my shoes and socks off and done a little doctoring on my feet, which uh, are in pretty good shape, but a couple of blisters and my big toe is infected as it has been for several days, but it looks like we're managing it with uh, antibiotics and uh, band-aids, so not too worried about it. It's not, not in any real pain, so I would imagine it'll get pretty sore if the infection gets bad. At any rate, um, that's it for now. Be checking back soon. Bye. Good morning, Team Rabbit. We're out on a, another day's hiking. Today is Tuesday morning, I believe. It's 7 a.m. We've been hiking for just under an hour. As you can see, we've moved into a little different kind of terrain, a much broader, flatter, grassy, few trees. At any rate, it's different. But my goodness, what a beautiful day we have. Blue skies, hardly a cloud in them. No wind right now. Uh, lots of sun with a forecast of mosquitoes. Uh, that's about 100%. And you can see we're coming up on a gate up here. 
which we do from time to time. At any rate, we're heading down to uh, Bernie Town. To uh, we're gonna get a room there. My wife Cheryl's coming to meet me, resupply me, and it looks like I'm on off toward Canada before I flip back toward. Um, before we flip back to the Sierra. A uh, couple notable milestones recently. Yesterday I crossed 200 miles since entering Northern California. And that means I've also hiked more than seven, pardon me, more than 900 miles on the PCT. Uh, it hasn't always been easy. Yeah. But the scenery's been pretty good. And the uh, company I've had here, you guys, has been next to nothing. I mean, perfect. I can't uh, ask for a better group of co-travelers. I could do better with my filming, but I'm dodging rocks while I'm trying to walk. So this is a little bit of a challenge. All right, you guys hang on. We'll be checking back in a little later toward lunch. Enjoy the views and uh, let's go have some fun. Well, we're at Bernie Falls here, or Bernie uh, Guest Ranch here, and the owner has just warned everybody about the presence of a mountain lion somewhere that you need to be on the watch out for because they're known to, to get on people's tents and that kind of thing up here. Beat it, creep. I just, I'm getting so much cat hair on me, I'll be packing an extra 50 pounds tomorrow. And the other problems, like all cats, when they're happy and they want to start clawing, this one's trying to claw my rain pants in my neck. So, cat's got to go. But anyway, we are at Bernie Guest Ranch. It's a really nice facility, kind of cool. It's a pay-as-you-go kind of place, or, or sorry, it's all... It's all a uh, honor system. So you go to the store, you get whatever you want. You write down a sheet of paper and keep your list and pay at the end. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm at here at the laundry, waiting on the laundry to get finished. And then uh, they don't have dryers, so they got clotheslines out here. I'll be hanging the clothes up pretty soon. So just getting to exercise some of my domestic skills while waiting on my opportunity. Here, say hi. Waiting on my opportunity to uh, go chill and have dinner. You want a cat? Well, welcome to Bernie Falls, California, in the Bernie Falls State Park. We just walk down here and get a view of what this is going to look like as we cross the bridge. Oh. Don't know what that was. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Windy up ahead. Gorgeous stream. All right, hope you guys enjoy that. Looks like a great place to soak your feet, huh? Okay, Rabbit Nation, let me bring you up to speed. I had a very clever plan today where we would leave our gear at Bernie Guest Ranch, slack pack down to Bernie Falls and the dam uh, not too far away from here. And Cheryl's gonna meet us there and pick us up, pick up our pack, spend the night in Bernie Falls, and we'll start out from there. As you can see, we're at Bernie Falls and it is a really, really beautiful waterfall, a place I've never been in my life. Uh, just to show you the water, the beautiful turquoise waters, and how pretty it is. And if you look real careful, you'll notice that not all the water is falling from the top. A lot of it is 
coming out the side so it's kind of like a a waterfall and a spring fed waterfall as well super beautiful so uh, we're gonna spend a little bit more time here and then uh, head back up and take a kind of a half day rest today I'm in pretty good shape but I have to get my resupply in order for a big trip up to Dunsmere over the next few days probably about four days up to Dunsmere um, again uh, the beauty along the trail is just amazing and uh, you guys coming along with me is just super I'm glad I can share all this with you so uh, have one good more peak more maybe I'll go down below and catch another little angle of this and we'll cruise on so beautiful it deserves one last look over there and even all the way over here we got water and it all empties out right down there 